Good morning, all of my dumpster peeps, YouTube family. Today is Friday. It is 8.48 a.m. My children woke up at 7 a.m. Yay! <laughs> Lord help me. My husband left for work today at 6.30 and he is, oh my God, he is so loud. Like, he can't hear good from years of being a steel worker and a metal fab worker and the loud banging and things like that, his hearing isn't the best. So when he thinks he's being quiet, he's actually waking up the entire neighborhood. <laughs> he always says, I can't be any quieter. I'm like, um, yes, actually you could be. <laughs> I know I'm a light sleeper. Ever since I've had the girls, sorry, I'm putting dishes away. Ever since I've had the girls, I've been a light sleeper. I don't know. Any of you moms can relate to that. I never, ever was a light sleeper. And then as soon as I had the twins, every little tiny noise wakes me up. Doesn't matter how tired I am, how many hours I've been sleeping, doesn't matter. That is probably also not helping me. <laughs> But anyway, so I told you guys I was gonna bring you along on my day today, and that is exactly what I'm gonna do. So my morning starts out with, my husband did all the dishes yesterday. Thank you, hubby. I need to take something out of the deep freezer for dinner tonight, which I wanna do a roast. So I'm going to just cook it in the pressure cooker because there's no way it would have time to defrost because it's completely frozen and cook in a slow cooker. So that's probably what I'm gonna do. And while I'm down there, I'm actually gonna show you guys the rug that I got at the dumpsters the other night too, because y'all know my brain. <laughs> I totally forgot about it because I unrolled it in my garage because it's massive and I totally forgot about it. I even said to myself out loud, Shannon, don't forget to show them the rug. And I still forgot. <laughs> yeah, I'll show you that rug. I have a ton of dumpster stuff downstairs. I desperately need to organize. I mean, it is a hot mess express down there. I literally just throw stuff and I'm like, oh, I'll deal with it later. And then later comes and I go diving again and just add to the pile. So I cannot take anything to my storage unit because my storage unit is already full. Well, it's not completely full, but when and if our house goes on the market, once we find a house, I need that space there to take all the extra stuff that we have here. There's a nap in my house. So I have to leave a little bit of room in there and literally that's all I have, a tad bit of room. Usually everything that I get, I am either donating it, giving it to friends at work or other people in need, or I'm gonna put it in my live sale boxes. So all the things I have downstairs are gonna be going to my live sale boxes because I've already taken everything that I wanted to give away to coworkers, I've already taken it to work. I am going to go through all that stuff. We're gonna organize some, at least just get it to where it's not such a hot mess. Like I can't find anything because it's all just shoved in huge totes. And I don't like to be disorganized like that. So I wanna organize it all. Maybe, maybe get some boxes together. I'm not really sure, but we'll try. And just all together clean down there because it needs it. And then we need to reload up all that dog food that I took out of my trunk <laughs> to show you guys and take it to the no-kill shelter. Now, I found out why all that food was tossed out. So, turns out I have a subscriber that, I can't remember her name, I'm so sorry. I think it was Cookie something. She actually lives near that area. And she said her and her, I think it's, she said her daughter, went to that dollar type store and it was literally sitting out back on those silver racks. So what they do is when they unload the truck, normally they open all the cases outside, stack everything on those racks and then push it in because it's obviously a lot easier. Don't mind my children screaming in the background. This is real life, I have children. She said, they must have forgotten that cart outside. So it was sitting there overnight. 
and she said she had gone when they were still open and that, that everything was still on that cart. And she's like, I didn't want to take it because it was still on the cart. And I would have done the same. I wouldn't have taken it if it was on the cart. She said she was going back there the same night I went to see if they had thrown it away since it sat on that cart overnight. And they did. And then here comes me and Beth swooping in and we take it all. So she said she actually feeds like 30 cats in her neighborhood. So I actually responded to your comment and I said, if you want to meet me, I'll hook you up with some cat food. So I do not mind whatsoever driving out of my way to meet her to give her some cat food if it would help her out and still donate a bunch of it. So I did want to show you guys this. Do you remember this? I got this in the Bath and Body dumpster and they had put marker all over it. So I started cleaning it off with acetone. Well, acetone also started taking off the actual parts. <laughs> so I had to stop, but it's pretty much clean. I mean, there's a couple little spots, but I'm gonna put that towards the back. So I just need to fix up a few of these little marks and I'll be good to go. But I re-glued this so now I can put a candle on the top and I put batteries in it. Check this out. Do you see the bats moving? How freaking cute is that? Right? For Halloween? <laughs> oh yeah. Oh yeah. I fixed up. <laughs> all right. So let's go downstairs. I'm going to start getting all of my dumpster stuff organized a little bit at least to make it easier on myself when I do do the boxes. So I'm going to get you guys out of my cabinet. Let's go downstairs and start organizing. We are in my basement and y'all are crooked as all get out. There we go. So I'm going to show you the area rug. Guys, let me first show you the price tag of this rug. You are going to lose your mind. Do you see that? $120 for a seven by nine, seven by nine. Straight crazy, I know. So here we go. Here is my brand new rug. Don't mind the stuff on the floor. Um, I do need to vacuum it. That's why I put it out flat in here because I want to vacuum it before I put it anywhere in my house, you know? But yeah, this is a garage. It's messy. Don't judge. <laughs> I love it. Absolutely love it. Here's what I have in here. This is one of my dumpster shelves. I, uh, I really cleared this one off um, from my yard sale. So I'm gonna organize this one real quick and then I'm gonna start bringing some of the stuff that I have in my game room out here because everything is just thrown everywhere. Let me show you guys so you know what I mean. I still have all the dog food in here. So that is obviously gonna be leaving. Sorry, the lights need to warm up before they get really bright. But back here, this is my problem area. <laughs> I have all of that. Then in my laundry room, I have a bunch too. So I have this whole corner. Oh, this is my dumpster vacuum, works perfect. I have all of this stuff, which some of these things are already sold. I just need to package them up. Some of the things are going to be sold. You get it. Here's some of my Bath and Body Works items, some more, Oh no, just candles in here. A lot of my candles and wax melts that I use. Up here is just all of, almost all of this I got from the dumpsters. All the bleach and the cleaning supplies right there from the dumpster. This from the dumpster, the bleach from the dumpster, all of these from the dumpster. Crazy, I know. And then I have my cleaning supplies, soaps, vegetable oils, baby wipes, everything on this shelf. Oops, there went my clock. Hopefully I didn't break it. Nope, we're still good. I still need to spray paint that, but I have tons and tons of stuff over here, like hats and gloves and like birthday present items that I keep in a little box. All my Swiffer wet jets that I got from the dumpster and my overfill of cleaning projects or cleaning projects, cleaning supplies, all of my Dawn dish soap, this I need because I need to fix something, a ton of body washes. So this one was only like a quarter full. And then all my spray paints, all my extra overflow of medicines. We have Mucinex, Tums, the Tussin, 
Robitussin, <laughs> Mucinex, Sinus Max, you get it. So right now, um, my phone is dying. So I need to go charge that. I do need to get a couple things. So this chair I got from Big Lots Dumpster. All I need is one little pin and one little washer. So we are gonna go to a hardware store to get that. Then I also need to get a new tripod because this one is about on its last leg and I don't want it to break and then I'm stuck with that one. So I gotta do all that running around and I promised the girls to take them to get ice cream and go mini golfing. So I have a ton of stuff to do today. Plus I have to take all that food to the no-kill shelter, so Lord help me. But before I do all that, I'm gonna charge my phone for a little bit and I'm gonna start organizing stuff. And then once it's charged a little, I'll bring you down and show you what progress I have made. So I organized everything. I thought I was recording. I wasn't. <laughs> it's gonna be one of those days. But I did organize everything for the most part. I still have some cleaning to do, but I'm gonna show you what I did. So my laundry room, Remember over here, there was a huge pile of junk. Now it's all organized, much better. Organize some things over there. I still need to get in my, that's my under the stairs storage and that's where I keep all my holiday decorations and I wanna start decorating for fall. I know, I'm probably crazy because it's August, but I'm just ready to start decorating for fall. So I'll bring you guys along for that. I decided I'm not keeping the pet stroller I am going to donate that today to the no-kill shelter. And I was keeping these pet gates that I got from Ollie's, but I don't know when we're gonna be getting a dog. So I'm not gonna just keep those here. I figure somebody from the no-kill shelter, like somebody adopting a dog may need one and they can give it to them then. So we're gonna take those too. I have just put those little flowers that I got from Dollar General on top of my washer and dryer because I don't know, I felt like it. The big change, guys. Nothing! Woohoo! <laughs> I cleaned it all and it feels so much better. I mean, I still have a mountain of dog and cat food. I still have to vacuum. I still have a box of stuff that goes to the no kill shelter. All that stuff, except for this box over here, is going to work. So let's take this and put this away. And that's it. And then I have some boxes over here that are actually going to subscribers, things that they ordered, so. Then my garage, I took everything that was on the floor, put it in containers, organized it. This is all live sale box stuff. This has clothes, shoes, decor, kitchen items. And then I just broke everything down. Like this is cell phone items. This is craft items. Um, that's Halloween items some big shampoo and conditioners that I can't put anywhere. Down here we have books in this brown thing and then on top and magazines and then sunscreens, uh, diffuser, all my Ulta um, facial stuff and hair stuff. Back there is cups and plates and um, spatulas. And then up here we have colored pencils and more craft stuff, earrings and jewelry. Um, that wreath I'm keeping and then there's a Noel sign over there I'm keeping this fuzzy pillow I'm gonna sell my lamp I'm keeping back there and that's about it oh and then my candles this is my overflow of candles that I have behind my door over here I have a ton more of these things that I ship out candles in three stacks of candles and then more overflow of candles and items like that. And then all of my wallflowers. Well, not all of them, some of them. <laughs> that, my friends, is everything. So I'm going to get out all my fall decor stuff and start pulling that out in a minute. And I'm gonna take all this um, dog stuff and load my car up now, so. Come along with me and let's load this dog food up for the second time. <laughs> Actually, let's see, I loaded my car, unloaded my car, so this is like the third time. Hi, what are you two up to? I have some ice cream. Some ice cream, you have to eat lunch first. Okay. We're gonna go get ice cream later, okay? Would you like to help me load my car up so we can take all this food to the no-kill shelter? Okay. okay.
So the car is filled back up with the food. Now I gotta get the gates and the stroller. Lord, I don't think I have enough room. What? I'll get it, babe. I got our sideways. Okay, now where are we gonna put these? We don't have any more room. We don't have any room for these, so we're gonna have to take these the next time we go. Oh, so take them back in the house. All right, now that that's done, I'm gonna vacuum down here because it's a hot mess. Um, I don't have enough room for the gates. Sorry about my shiny forehead. <laughs> it's a little hot here. I'm just gonna vacuum now in this room and my laundry room and get all the cat litter and whatever else is on my floor out here. And then take the girls somewhere for ice cream and play mini golf. So I have to fit that in also sometime after or before we go to the animal shelter. And I gotta go to Target and I gotta go to Lowe's. So I'm just gonna bring you guys with me all day. These two bags of cat food, I'm saving for the subscriber that said she takes care of like 30 cats around her farm. So I can meet her and give these to her. Girl, I see your face everywhere. When I'm going out, you'll be there. Cause everything reminds me of you. I can't take no more. Girl, I think I'm losing my mind. Try to go to work, but I lost track of time. Cause everyone keep looking like you. I can't take no more. I miss your touch from your hands and your body. It hurts so much to think of you as someone else. Can't get enough when you're sweet talking to me. Now I'm talking sweet all by myself. Put your arms around me, put your faith in me, put your love on me. What you need from me, need your love on me, put your love on me. I'm gonna do everything for you. I don't want anyone but you. Put your arms around me, put your faith in me, put your love on me. Can we stop the clock? Okay, now that that's done, I think I'm going to feed the kiddos some lunch and then we will take everything to the no-kill shelter. I think I'm going to call them and just make sure they accept all that before I take it because I don't want to have to come back with all that stuff in my car. You know what I'm saying? Much better. I also need to go to Home Depot or Lowe's and get a nut and a little piece of whatever that is. I'm gonna take a picture and show the guys at Lowe's and just be like, what is this and where do I find it? I'm gonna go feed my children lunch and I will bring you guys back when we head to the no kill shelter. We're finally in the car. I got a ton of dog and cat food back there and we are finally on our way to donate it. I've been dreaming all night. Bringing me some inspiration Never meant to love no one But baby I saw you for a second and I'm happy that you came my way Don't wanna waste no time without you ever burning up my days Never meant to fall so hard
that's our workout. Load the car, unload the car, load the car, unload the car. <laughs> Like that's the one I'm getting in. You could not guess how you took those words back. Now I'm just a mess. I'm running away from escaping dreams of yesterday. Convincing me. We are currently in my children's bedroom and I am on their floor. You're going to hear them screaming in the bathroom because that's what kids do. So I don't know if you guys know this trick, but when I seen this, life changing. Life changing. I never knew this. Take some tape and you put it like so. Okay, so I'm going to take a marker and I'm going to mark where the middle of the um, little posts are for you to hang it on the wall. Let me get a marker because of course I'm unprepared. I will mark the center as much as I can, <laughs> like that. And then I'm just gonna poke a hole. Then I'm gonna take the tape off pop it on the wall and then that's where I put the nails. I'll show ya. See what I mean, jelly bean? shelf for I don't know three months now yeah when in doubt do what you dang self Shannon <laughs> all right now we're gonna go downstairs and I'm gonna get all my fall decorations out and then that's it for this video because I need to go meet Beth in a few hours once my hubby gets home because we're going dumpster diving but I bought some super cute yeah. stuff from the Dollar Tree. I got these really cute glossy pumpkins for on my um, table under my like entryway meter. I bought these metallic words. They are harvest, thankful, and welcome. I don't know which one I'm gonna use yet, but I'll show you. And then I bought this ribbon. I showed you this that I already fixed. Oh, I also fixed. Let me show you what else I fixed. Remember I got that citronella candle yesterday? Well, it was completely shattered. So I glued it all back together. 
completely fixed now. I mean, don't look underneath, <laughs> but at least it's together. It won't fall apart now. So now we have a citronella candle for on our pool deck. All right, guys, this is the before. I didn't have anything crazy going on, just like a plain runner and some candles, pictures, floral stuff, and like, um, what the heck are those things called? <laughs> I almost said lighthouses. Why can't I think of the word? Those things, you know, lanterns, Lord, words are hard. All right, let me take all this down and I'll show you the after. Well, I think that is as far as I'm getting today. I'm not really liking it, but that's good enough for today. And then I'm gonna put this rug in front of our door. Don't mind my messy house. I haven't gotten to this. Well, I did clean this part actually. And then my children happened. <laughs> you guys know. I'm sure that is as far as I'm getting today. I'm gonna add more to this. I'm probably gonna add some pops of color down here because there's so much color up there and not any down there. And I might switch some stuff around. I'm not really sure yet what I'm gonna do. <laughs> I just know I don't like it. But I was dying to decorate for fall. So I just wanted to do a little bit, but that's gonna wrap up this video, guys. I have an hour and a half to jump in the shower, get ready, and then change, go meet Beth, and go dumpster diving. So I'm gonna try and edit this one for the next hour and a half and see how much I can get done. Hopefully a lot, but probably not. And I will see you guys in the next video, which hopefully will just be in a day or two. Fingers crossed if we find stuff. But thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today on this crazy day. I appreciate every last one of you. 
And I, of course, will talk to you all in those comments down below. And until next time, happy diving, guys. Bye.